Hi, I'm Sonia, and today I am going to show you how to tongue oil some wood. It's an all-natural finish that you can put on any bare wood surface. It does not outgas, out so you'll have no noxious fumes. It's actually the oil of a nut, which makes it very, very natural. <laughs> right, Olive? Yes. So here we go. I'm going to show you. We're actually redoing our stairs. Um, so in the background behind me, you'll see I have... Um, the runs across the back. We already did those. Those are two coated and today we're putting the first coat on the risers. So the first thing I did with these was gave them a light scuff, scuff sand. This is a 320 grit. Um, you can use a more coarse grit if you have some funky spots. Sometimes there's stickers on them you have to take off. You need to take a scraper and scrape them and then use a coarse grit to get the goo off and then you can use your fine grit. Then you want to take a dry cloth and brush off any excess um, sawdust before you begin your work. We're using Hope's Pure Tongue Oil. No additives, solvent-free, zero VOC. That's the trick. So there are no volatile compounds in here, which means it's not going to stink. It's not going to give you cancer. It is all natural. It's from the nut of a tree of China, from China, I believe. So basically, we just pour it into a container. We're just using this wide plastic one because it's easy to access and I can recycle it when I'm done. I don't need to clean it out. You can really use virtually any container you want. And I have this rag that we've already been using to soak the boards. So I come over here with my oil. Let's see if I can zoom this out a little. There we go. And the way you'll see the way it brings the grain out, it's amazing. The one disadvantage to using tongue oil is that it takes a very long time to cure. So you have to wait 24 hours between coats. You get some nice oil on there, but as you can see, it's just gorgeous what it does for the wood. Oh, are you going to help? Wonderful, honey. Yes, Allah's going to help too. So, and I'll hardly have to go redo it because after it's done, you want to wipe away the excess oil. And ideally, you want to work in one direction when you're oiling this. Okay, that's enough, honey. Mommy's going to do this now, okay? My little helper over here is oiling up that board. Easy to fix. Okay, that's enough, sweetie pie. All right, you've got enough oil on that rag, honey. This is my two-year-old, loves to help. Yes, my little helper. But as you can see, that is just gorgeous, and it didn't take me very long. Again, the disadvantage, as I mentioned, was the dry time. So it does have to dry for 24 hours between coats. You can do two to four coats. But it's gorgeous, isn't it? So we are going to just take a look at some of these finished ones over here. You can see the way the tongue oil brings the grain out. It's just amazing it's all natural I mean why buy wood and put poly over it that just blows my mind because it dries fast but then you have plastic outgassing chemicals for years to come you have a plastic coat over your natural wood surface why do we do that so and it's not just that it takes 24 hours between coats but it does take 8 to 10 days to cure so if you're doing a floor it could take some time these boards will be here for eight to ten days before we actually put them into our stairwell. Well, oops. thanks for joining me today and hopefully you will tongue oil your wood too.